the present and the end. All right? No other book on the face of this planet can give you the nourishment that these scriptures give you. Man. That's and right, that's true wisdom. Go ahead. Now, that's why the scripture says the way of life uh, to the wise is above so that they may depart from hell beneath. Yeah. Verse 13, she prevented them that desire her in, ma in making herself first known unto them. Uh, Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors. Now, that's why it says to gain you, uh, to gain wisdom from your from your youth. You know. That's right, brother. You know, if you if you attain wisdom at a, at an early age, you know it's going. You're gonna that wisdom's gonna stay with you. Okay. Especially if you have like a your, if you have a son. You teach him the correct ways and how to live, Proverbs. what to do and what not to do. If you keep him on that path, eventually he's going to grow up to be a righteous man, you know? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. Uh, to, think of, to think, therefore, upon her is perfection of wisdom. And whoso watches for her shall quickly be without care. So you're going to understand that you're good, man. You have the wisdom and knowledge that you have about Shemuel and Shah, man. That, that's what gives you real comfort. You're not going to have uh, a lot of cares in the, in the world. You're not going to be worried about what's going on inside. Because even if the Esau tries to push you to death, you know where you're going. Okay? okay? You're going to be uh, one of the first ones raised up if you die in the truth. Uh, be caught up in the clouds with the rest of the elect, man. Uh, for she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showing herself favorably unto them in the ways and meeted them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. Nah, you know, the care of discipline is love. And uh, if you love the Most High, you'll, 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 uh, you'll discipline yourself to His laws, statutes, and commandments. So can I say something? Because the beginning, what's the beginning of, uh, of, 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 of wisdom? To fear your how about Shemel Shai, man. So if you fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai, that's where that discipline comes in. You fear, you fear the, 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 the repercussions of, of, of going off, of, of sinning, of, going, of transgressing the law. Man. All right? So therefore, you're going to have discipline to, to your how about Shemel Shai's law. Keep it. couple of verses. And love is the keeping of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. This is Proverbs six and twenty. My son, keep thy father, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of my mother. God, keep keep the, thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of your mother. You know, and that's one of the uh, ten ten commandments. You know, uh, uh, keep the law, keep the law, keep. Uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20. My son, keep thy father's commandments and forsake not the law of thy mother. God, you know, because if you forsake, if you if you forsake, if you're not listening to what the most high wants you to do, you're already broken that commandment, you know? Okay. If you're not if you're not listening to the to, to your mother, which is his wisdom. That's right. You know, you've already you you I don't know what you're doing even trying to follow that law. First, so, uh, all that father, not mother. Spirit. That's right. And the, and the mother is not the queen of heaven. So I just wanted to throw it out. There. <laughs> the mother is that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's right, I care. All right. Uh, verse verse twenty one. Bind them to uh, bind them continually upon thy heart and tie them upon thy neck. How do you do that? You know, you you uh you you uh. Work in, the, work, work in these scriptures, you know, you read, study, do, try and do sit-downs as best you can, listen to videos, listen to the elders. You, know? you, you baptize yourself in the Word. That's what, that's what the whole baptism is about. And the elder uh, Gabar had brought that out. He said the word, you know, the word baptiz baptism is from the Greek, baptismo which means to, to submerge, to engulf yourself. It's kind of, when you engulf in yourself, okay, when you, you engulf in yourself in the spirit, the spirit is, is the, the scriptures, right? You mind if I say something? What the word is doing is it's washing you. It's making you clean. That's when being submerged, when you come out, you're supposed to be that new creature. God, no, like you said, it's washing you, it's making you clean. Going back to Isaiah chapter two, 
know, when the Most High is telling you, watch you, make you clean, uh, uh, let us reason together, you know, he's willing to talk, he's willing to uh, uh, take you back and reason and, and establish some kind of agreement between us, you know. Yeah, we're divided onto water, man. So, so that's why he can Ephesians, uh, chapter living six, water. verse one five. Yeah, it's living water. Forever flowing. Water. You know, so that, that's how it washes you, man. Right. You know, because it's the washing the water by the word. It's, it's like into uh, water. When you read John chapter seven, verse thirty-eight, he that believes on Yahweh shall the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right. So through the elders on down, their bellies flow out living water unto the younger brothers on down, and it washes and made us clean, man. The spirit of Yahweh washes me on shot. That's right. We were filthy rats. Uh, Proverbs chapter 6 verse 21 or verse 22 when thou goest it shall lead thee when thou sleepest it shall keep thee and when thou uh, wakest it shall talk with thee for the commandment God, so it's like, God like, well, when you wake it, you shall talk with thee you know like uh, if, if you're in this thing you know for, for me I don't know about anybody else but as soon as I wake up I just think about like stuff that I should be doing according to what brothers have told me, like, you know, pray every, every morning, pray to the Most High, thank you for letting you wake up, at least to live another day, you know, uh, to, keep, you know to keep pushing this thing, you know, uh, pray, uh, just think about, just have the Most High in your, in your, in your thoughts continually, you know, you know and, and, and thinking about that wisdom will, will direct your path, you know. Verse 23, for the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. God, the commandment is a lamp. Uh, uh, right now, we're, we're under that shadow of death. You know, we're living in the valley of the shadow of death. And we, and we need that lamp to direct us so we don't fuck up and kill ourselves or something, you know? That's right. When you're walking in darkness, let's say you're in a dark room and you're walking in darkness, you're not you, you won't you're not gonna be able to see what's in front of you you know you might hit a table or a chair fall down break your neck Come. You know, same thing same thing in this in this world you know even right now we we walk in the, in the valley of the shadow of death this whole this whole ruler rulership right now is, is a valley is the shadow of death uh, reproofs of destruction are the way of life uh, 24 to keep thee from the evil woman from the flattery of the tongue of a strong woman, lust not after her beauty in thy heart. God, lust not, not after the, the beauty of these other other doctors, you know, those sweet those sweet things. Those, those things out that that, that, uh, that make you feel good, you know, that, that bring out that, that wicked wicked lust, you know. And neither let her take thee with their with, with her eyelids. For by means of boorish uh, women, a man is brought to pieces to a piece of bread. And the uh, uh, adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burnt? Yeah, can a man take hold of fire and the fire not burn him? You know, okay. fire not consume him? Yeah, so meaning. What you know, say is it's making an analogy. So that's the same way. You keep dabbling all these old different uh, philosophies. You'll get consumed. Then. You can't you, you can't play with fire unless you don't get burned, man. <laughs> same thing with other doctrines and philosophies. Now some of us can go into certain things to pick out the bones that you can be, but not everybody can do that. Okay, but if you continue to get that, especially if, uh, against the instruction of, because we have certain guys that try to go into read the Book of the Dead and all that, and never said not to. Now these niggas have to camp, bug them. You got burned. Verse 29. So he that goeth in his uh, neighbor's so he that goeth in, into his neighbor's wife, whosoever touches her shall not. Well, that's that's pretty much it. shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips all the words of my mouth are in righteousness there is nothing forward or 
perverse in them. Nah, you know, there's nothing perverse in them. You know, uh, you know if you trust in this word, you know, you'll you'll be you'll be uh, uh, directed toward a righteous path. I think it's in Sirach uh, where where it says, um, uh, has has anybody has anybody uh, roughly paraphrasing has anybody like faltered trusting the Most High or something like that. Some, some to that effect. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah, it's a mix-up. Yeah. 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 Verse 7, For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understand it. Nah, they are all plain to him that understand him, you know, and if you don't have this understanding, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to uh, read this book how it's supposed to be read. You're not gonna be able to teach teach it to anybody else how it's supposed to be taught. Uh, going going back to the to pastors and these false prophets in these churches, you know, breaking down Luke chapter 16 wrong. <laughs> John 3:16. John 3:16. Mean about the market of bees, everything, man. Yeah, it just keeps going off the place. Yeah, and 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 these things will be right to them that that know that knowledge or, or find 16. that seek that knowledge. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Verse 10, receive my instruction and not silver. Genesis 1 and 1. And knowledge rather, rather than choice gold. God, you know, uh, I think there's another another uh, another uh Precept in this in this book Proverbs that says that uh, that wisdom is better than choice gold, better than uh, uh, than fine rubies. So, so. Proverbs chapter three. Go ahead. For wisdom is better than uh, than rubies. Oh, wait, there it goes. Okay, that's the same. okay that was, that's it. Okay, you can keep. <laughs> <laughs> that's the spirit. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be uh, desired are not to be compared to it. God, Ferrari, you know, wisdom is better than a Lamborghini. I mean, it's, it's a nice car. It's a nice car to have, but, I, you know, I think, Lord willing, I would prefer wisdom if I was offered like, would you rather have the most highest wisdom or Lamborghini, you know? Uh, I, got, I got a better example. You know that saying, diamonds are growing press for Ask your old lady, would you rather have wisdom? Would you rather have a diamond? And I bet you she'll say a diamond every time. So you, you that tells you right there that you put her off. Tell me. I was just thinking of it though. Like correct though, man. You want a uh, wisdom of a Ferrari, man. Because a Ferrari, you got to keep baiting us on it. It's going to eventually right. break down. It's going it's to rust. Uh, nigga, it's going to steal your Ferrari. Damn. You know what I'm saying? The most I bless you with wisdom. Can't nobody ever take that from you. Oh, yeah, that's or, right. or, or Ferrari will come out with a new one next year. And it'll look you you yeah. get an old Ferrari, yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, nigga, you got a uh, 2008 Ferrari, you hit a good deal on, they gonna show up with fucking 2016. Yeah, Chris Brown <laughs> gonna show up in Dallas with the brand new one and make you look like a fool. Uh, you know, uh, having this wisdom, you know, you could, if you had, you know, most high will just give you some wisdom to where you can build your own car, maybe even better, you know? Like Solomon, right? Proverbs, wisdom, Proverbs 6 right. and 12. I, right, wisdom, well, with, uh, prudent, they uh, dwell with the prudence and find out knowledge of witty uh, inventions. God, and find out knowledge of witty inventions, you know? Like I, like I said, you know, most I will give you some kind of, maybe an idea, you know, like like all these things that have been invented, you know, it was inspiration by the Most High to want to build something like that, you know? Sure. That, it's that knowledge of witty inventions. Uh, verse 13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, in the evil way, and the forward mouth doth I hate. Uh, Sirach chapter 15, starting at verse 1. He that feared the Lord would do good, and he that hath the knowledge of the law shall attain her. He's talking about wisdom. And as a mother shall she meet him, and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him, and give him the water of wisdom to drink. Uh, he, he shall be stayed upon her and shall not be moved. Can you read that part that says uh, about the water that you to drink or something? Uh, verse 3. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. God, that's why uh, I wish I said, uh, eat of my, uh, what do you say, eat of my bread and, and drink of, uh, drink of 
of my blood. Or was it? Uh, I think it's water that I give you will never thirst. Not that one. Yeah, you know, the water that I give you, you will never thirst. And then that's why that, that lady was like, oh, uh, give me to drink, sir. Or, you know, Right. Talking about the, the truth. Uh, Yo, if I can say this, that's why it says in John 7 and 38, it equates the words of the Heavenly Father, which is that wisdom, uh, equates it to living water, man. Meaning that this word, man, yeah, is going to just continue to go on and forever. Basically, it ain't no ceiling to this knowledge, man, and this truth, man. You're going to always uh, learn something. It's always going to be uh, spiritual, uh, deeper uh, spiritual revelations being be revealed to the men of the Lord, man. Living. That's exactly that's right. right. It's not stagnant. Verse 4. He shall be stayed upon her and shall not be moved, and shall rely upon her and shall not be confounded. So anything that anyone else comes up with any other type of doctrine, man, because you got the actual true knowledge from the creator of the heavens and the earth, right. they're not gonna be able to gang save you, man. Come on, brother. You know, because the knowledge came from your house, shit, your house shut. Uh, she shall exalt him above his neighbors, and in the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth. Okay, you're going to bring out the word, and the elect is going to be exhausted now in that day. So right now, we're being lowly, but in that day, because we're standing so stiff in the name of the Lord and seeking after the wisdom, okay, the elect is going to get that fame in the kingdom, man, under your house shot. That's when we're going to be able to stun on everybody and, and be him, you know? Uh, verse 6, he shall find joy and a crown of gladness, and she shall cause him to inherit an everlasting name. But foolish men shall not attain unto her, and sinners shall not see her. For she is far from pride, and men that are liars cannot remember her. God, you know, foolish men shall not see her. You know, they ain't going to have this, uh, the understanding that the apostles have, you know. Uh, in, uh, like these other camp leaders, you know, talking about dumb shit that has nothing to do with anything. Well, you know, still calling you know, Jesus and God. Yahweh, Christ, Christ. Are you down now? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Sirach chapter three, verse twenty-three. Be not curious in uh, unnecessary matters, for uh, more things are showed unto thee than men understand. Now, the reason I had him bring this out was. Uh, going to use this as saying bring that be not curious in necessary matters going into uh these other philosophies you know uh, those are unnecessary matters you shouldn't uh you shouldn't, yeah, wait, your mind shouldn't really dwell in right. you, know, you might six. god you might have some brothers that uh they'll be they'll be in this thing for a while and then they'll be like you know i'm just gonna research this just to see what you know in case i ever have to bring this up <laughs> and then they'll get so deep into it to where it just it'll take hold of them you know that yeah. that woman will uh, uh, take take hold of him, you know. It's not edifying to get a free set for you. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 14. The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. He that is aboard of Yahweh shall fall therein. Don, you know the, the uh, uh, so you say that first part again? The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. Don, that wisdom is a deep pit, you know. You, you can do Sometimes you'll just be like, all right, this seems pretty interesting. So maybe I'll do, I'll go deeper in it. That's, that's, that's the other philosophy. Yeah, that's the other, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the uh, other philosophy. But the brother, but it, it could be a two-way sword, man. But this, this uh, like the, uh, what's it say in Ecclesiastic, it's the fourth chapter. It will take you down. Wisdom will take you crooked ways as well. So, so with the, uh, with the scripture the brother just read, man, the other philosophies of strange women, Hell, Black Lives Matter is a strange woman for our people. You know? So so when you go with them other philosophies, just know you have about Shimmy is not for that matter. Matter of fact, Bob Shah, can you read that again? Yeah, let the brother get Proverbs 22, verse 14. The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. <laughs> he that is aboard of Yahweh shall fall therein. Uh, he, he is a boy, is it a boy? Yeah, a boy hated. A boy. Hated, hated of the most high, you know. So fall therein, you know, you'll fall into into that other wisdom uh, wisdom, other uh, doctrines, philosophies you're not supposed to you're not supposed to go into, you know. That's like, right. I, like I was saying, you know, like you could maybe find something interesting like for example 
aliens exist or something and that you're, you'll, you'll just you'll just have been so into aliens back when you were younger you just went so far into it now 